What's going on everybody, another episode of 4x4 Camping and Adventures and in today's episode I'm going to take you through my new throttle controller, um, the good guys at Hike it sent me this guy and uh, in this video I'm going to take you through how to install it, the benefits, features, all that cool stuff, um, show you why I went with this one over my previous model and uh, yeah just give you a bit of info on the new throttle controller. So uh, let's get into it. So I think the biggest thing to talk about when we're on the discussion of throttle controllers, uh, there's been a lot of brands out there that have gone out and said, yep, this will give you more performance, that kind of stuff. These don't actually improve your power one, like at all. There's no improvements in power. So essentially what these guys are doing is uh, making the throttle response a lot quicker. So um, the idea is, is when you've got your throttle and the throttle is in an open position, so there's no throttle load or anything like that, um, what happens with these throttle controllers is when you put the uh, throttle down to half, and let's say this is on full attack mode, what it will do is it will realize that you're going for a full throttle. So essentially by the time it gets to half and you're going to the full throttle, uh, the, these guys here will automatically lock in, lock in the full throttle and um, give you better response. So the idea, I think, um, for most people using these is like when you're on the beach, when you're on the rocks, when you're in the mud, that kind of stuff. And you need that instantaneous, that bang, that that real, real fast um, uh, throttle response is uh, where these things come in their uh, come in their own element. So the previous one I had was a basic uh, four program um, throttle controller. Uh, I have had it for a couple of years, and it's um, it's been working fantastic. Um, and I really didn't need to upgrade it, but uh, at the same time, I saw these new ones which had uh, a few cool, better features. And I thought, you know what, it's time for an upgrade, time to get a new one. So, as I said, the guys at High Kit um, approached me and uh, we sorted one out. And, uh, yeah, here we are. So, you'll see on the back, it's got this sort of bit hard to see because it's on uh, camera. But it gives you a bit of an idea on the throttle effects. So, you've got cruise mode, um, high kit mode. Uh, economy mode and sport mode so the high kit mode is there like full attack mode and obviously the sports mode is like i would say everyday drive like everyday driving it just gives you a little bit better response on the road um economy mode is uh really good for when you're on the um the highway and that kind of stuff you don't need that instantaneous um attack and uh that obviously i mean they, they, they do say it gives you fuel like improvements but um you know i'm not going to sort of go into that side of things i don't really buy or look at these to improve fuel um mainly for these is uh when i'm doing beach work and doing mud and that kind of stuff i want that that real bang that instantaneous throttle response and if you have a if you have a trident um you would know they're a little bit doughy on the uh, bottom end doesn't make it disappear but definitely uh, makes it um, less laggy, I suppose, is the, is the best way of speaking about it. So, um, yeah, let's let's uh, open this guy up and get into some details. So, first things first, you've obviously got a manual. You've got the unit itself, this guy here. So, it's actually quite small. And that's the little guy there. So, it's pretty cool. So, you've got your different modes and your up-down buttons and all that kind of stuff. But I'll go into that in detail soon. And on the back, they've given you a pre 3m sticky and in this part here this is where the magic happens so this part is actually the throttle controller so this is this guy here is actually just a little like the the unit that turns the uh, modes on but this guy here is what um essentially uh not tricks but sort of um overrides the C uh, ecu and tells the throttle where the actual position is so essentially this part connects into the original um uh, throttle like plug where the throttle is i'll go into that in detail when we install it and this piece here goes into the um the original plug and obviously you can see it bypasses it and then this piece here which is the um the white cable goes into the white end of this so they click together and you're ready to rock and roll so um yeah i'll go into full detail on how to install these if you've never installed one before this is definitely a video for that so i'll go into show you how to connect it all up and all that kind of stuff and uh, then we'll take it for a bit of a test run. I'll uh, go through the different modes, different different ways, sort of reacts and that kind of stuff, give you my final thoughts, and uh, and yeah, give you a bit of information about uh, you know like what I think of the unit and that kind of stuff. So um, so far so good. The quality of the looks amazing. This is all uh, very very well built. It's, it's it's clean. It's it's all made of metal and that kind of stuff. So it definitely uh, actually it might not be metal, it might be plastic, but it definitely looks like metal. But um, it's very very nice made. 
Um, the unit looks clean. The, the display looks good. So it's got the um, the ambient sensor on there for uh, when you want to dim your um, dash and that kind of stuff. You can dim with it, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I'll go through some of the cool features with through this book and um, some of the modes it's got um, in in two shakes as well. And obviously shows you the full how to install all that kind of stuff in the manual. So uh, let's get into it. All right, so this part of the video is just gonna show you how to install this guy. It's very, very simple. And uh, this can be taken with every throttle controller because they are exactly the same, especially on the Tridents. So essentially up the top here, you have my throttle assembly. And up here, you've actually got a plug which it all connects into. So what you want to do is disconnect that plug and then um, bypass it with the uh, the plug that I was showing you before. And then uh, from there, you can actually um, connect it all up and get it all working. One thing I'll stipulate is if you don't, um, if sorry, if you just drive home and you pick this up from the post office, don't turn the car off and install it straight away because you're going to get um, a fault. Um, this is very, very common with most throttle controllers. So you get a fault straight away because the car thinks you've disconnected the um, the cable and the ECU stays on for, um, it's about 10 minutes after the car's turned off so what you want to do is just make sure the car's turned off for about half an hour and this is in the instructions as well of this particular unit and uh yeah it'll tell you to um leave the car off and then uh yeah you can uh, go for gold so after 10 minutes then you can disconnect that uh that module so uh, we'll do that now all right so what you're gonna find is with the plug um on the top of the plug there's actually a push button so um it's probably really hard to explain but on the actual top of the plug there's a uh, clip which you have to go to the top of the plug and then push with your thumb and pull up. Once that's done, it'll um, disconnect and um, pull straight up. So then you can obviously connect the other piece. But it's probably a good bit of a, uh, information in there because um, the first time I did it, I was trying to get a knife in there and sort of work my way out. But essentially, it's just a push button plug, pull it up, and then uh, you're ready to rock and roll. All right, so you can sort of see in here, it's a little bit hard to see, but you can see the female in there taking it out. So um, that's the piece that you want to connect it into. And then if I can get around here, see if I can make it work. That is the plug you want to remove. So it is very tight in there, but essentially pull that plug out and then the uh, the male end goes in there and then the other end connects into this and that is your original um, throttle um, wire which goes to the ECU. And as I said, it goes into there and bypasses it to there. So uh, I'll connect it all up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all connected up. All right, so here we go, all clicked in. This piece here, you just want to give it a bit of a firm push because it needs to click in. You'll hear a, um, like an audible click anyway, but essentially, We've got the main unit there, which is plugged into the actual cable. They give you a couple of cable ties in the box so you can neaten this all up. So I'll probably uh, have it nice to the side just so it's not dangling around everywhere. And then you've obviously got the white piece, which is uh, going to go into the actual throttle controller. So uh, I'll run this through the dash. You can do this anywhere. You can have it all set up. I have it set up um, right next to the dash. Uh, actually right next to my gauges because uh, it makes it a little bit easier to uh, get to and access. And uh, yeah, we'll have that uh, all lined up. I'll run that all through the uh, the dash and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Turn the car on and should be as easy as that. All right, so first things first, the unit is completely off. So I'm gonna leave it off for now and uh, just drive around a little bit normally. And then we can see what this thing's all about. Pretty excited actually, because I wonder if it's gonna be any better than my previous one. second gear probably around 1800 rpm which is sort of where this thing may starts making boost and uh, just see what it does so second gear just under 2000 i'll put my foot into it see what she does this is this is in normal mode pretty normal it's got that delay it's got that half second sort of delay thing that it normally does and then uh, obviously as soon as boost kicks in, she's all good. So what I might do now is I'll go down the same road. I'm gonna put it into the, uh, well that's economy mode. That's uh, very doughy, very doughy. It literally takes about half the throttle before anything happens, which is interesting. So I'm gonna put it in the, uh, let's say cruise mode. See what that does. Responsive already. Oh. Yeah, okay, okay. Interesting. All right. Do the same run. 
down in second gear, just go to 2000 RPM. And uh, this is in cruise mode at full attack, so I'm just gonna go full attack on all the modes, number nine, I'm not gonna jump for all the modes, but um, we'll see what happens. All right, let's go. Oh, geez, it makes such a difference. Okay, cool, so 2000 RPM. normal around town so you know if you're pulling out from lights and that kind of stuff you'll probably find that uh, pretty beneficial but I think we're going to go into uh, what is it called sport mode uh, so sport mode with full attack we'll uh, go 2000 rpm in second gear again or just below and we'll see what happens in sports mode that feels uh, that feels more reactive straight away well if it's really reactive all right cool so we'll go back down to 2,000 RPM. Yeah, that picks up way better. Yeah, you can feel that straight away. That um, that picks up like not instantaneously, but the that, that half second delay. That's um, that's definitely gone. You can just yeah, it's, it's definitely picking up a lot better. So it's almost it's almost making that gap just almost almost uh, not there so it's still there if you were to sort of off throttle straight onto throttle and wait for the turbo to kick up it will still be there but um but it's definitely making it um yeah less noticeable that's for sure all right we'll go full high kit we'll go the top of the wasm mode oh okay yeah so essentially this is um just got a car in front of me so i can't do too much with that but essentially, um, this already feels very, very, I'm literally barely touching the throttle and it's, 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 it's all over it. But uh, I'll just go past this bit here and um, yeah. So what it does is I've just got like 10% throttle on, but it feels like probably 40% throttle. So what it's doing is my 10% throttle is almost like a half throttle. So it gives you that, like that instantaneous sort of feel. So uh, I'll go back to second gear. Got a bit of an opening here, so I'll clean. Oh, that's very responsive. All right, so we'll cruise up here. I'll get below 2,000 RPM. It's almost hard to keep the speed because it just wants to wants to go. All right, just gotta wait. There is a car in front of me to the heaps of traffic out today. Hey, definitely. I'm just buzzing around, but definitely feels a lot better. That's for sure. None of that, uh, it's hard to say. If you've, if you've driven a modern diesel and they got that delay, it sort of, yeah, gets rid of that. It's probably the easiest way of explaining it. Without being in the car with me, you sort of obviously not gonna feel it through the video, but it definitely um, makes a big, big difference. All right, so we'll go 2,000 RPM. Feel like that's better than my previous one. Um, it, it's yeah. You can see the smile on my face. I'm pretty happy with it. So um, essentially, what it's doing now is there's there's literally no gap. So I was in second gear, 2000 RPM, like every other gear. I'll do it again, and you'll you'll see it in the video. It's, it's going to be pretty much just picks up. Stability controls have gone a bit crazy there because I'm spinning a bit of wheels. Uh, yeah, pretty pretty impressed by that. That um, that that makes a big difference. Yeah, hang on, let me just go back to normal mode. So this is automatic economy off. So I'm just going to go. Yeah, <laughs> it's chalk and cheese. That is such a difference. I mean, I was pretty happy with my previous one, but I think this is, uh, I think this is even better again. Um, I don't know, don't know how much better, but like it definitely picks up a lot quicker. And what I was finding with my previous one, which was a, um, I think the brand was Camus or something like that. Um, what I was finding is when I uh, took my foot off the accelerator, it almost felt like it was still trying to accelerate. So. 
um, the the throttle would work. So when you had your throttle on there and you had your clutch and you have to do sort of that movement, what would happen is um, with the old one, you took your foot off the throttle and then obviously the unit was still putting some throttle on there because obviously, it, you know, that's how these things work. It was trying to give you more than you actually put down there. So it's almost like you have half throttle off and then so like you're halfway off and then you put your foot on the clutch and it's still trying to put a bit of RPM in there. So you sort of always get that like when you're trying to change your gear, it would put a little bit too much RPM in there and it almost feel like you're like you're riding the clutch a little bit. I didn't actually notice that with this one. So when I took my foot, like as soon as I took my foot off the throttle, it was bang off. Um, so in that sense, this unit's way better. Um, but yeah, I mean, ugh, chalk and cheese. Like I've been driving, I uh, actually took my throttle controller out oh, about a week ago and I've been driving around economy mode. Going back into that full attack mode, these things just feel so different. I mean, I know I've got the tune and that kind of stuff, but if this was a standard car, that would still make such a massive difference. So, um, yeah, props. Props to uh, props to Hikett. They've uh, absolutely put a smile on my face. That is pretty awesome. So, look, I mean, that's, that's, that's how easy it is to install these things. And, look, I mean, if you've got any questions or anything like that, give me a yell. Um, hit me up on my Instagram. Hit me up in the comments. But I can safely recommend these these guys here. Um, I'm stupidly happy with it. I mean, there's there's so many brands of these things now. So um, if you just get a throttle controller, it's going to be massively beneficial to your car. I can 100% put my uh, my name behind the Hikert one. Um, as I've got it in my car, it works perfectly. It took seven minutes to install, um, and you can see the reaction. And when I'm driving around, you know, just doing that little bit of a run, um, you can only imagine when you're on the beach and you need to get that get that throttle straight down the beach it would be such a big difference from you going down and almost like losing momentum to actually this full attack so um yeah it's going to make make a huge difference especially like dunes and that kind of stuff like if you're full attack on the dune um and you just need to like half throttle off just to go over a bump or something like that and then you need to go straight back onto it these things can have delay and lag because you've already taken all the boost out so you need to rebuild that boost up back in the uh, the pipes and that in the intercooler so you can just get rid of that delay and that potentially might just not get you stuck um, and again, on mud and that kind of stuff, you want to go slow in and then full attack. Um, you could have that half second delay and that might be enough just to get you bogged into the mud and that. But uh, absolutely stoked. I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's it's a pretty awesome little setup. And uh, yeah, I can only recommend these guys enough. Um, thank you, Hikit, for uh, obviously sending me the unit. Um, if you've got any questions, as I said, hit me up in the comments, hit me up on Instagram and uh, I'll answer your questions and that kind of stuff. Is it better than my old one? Hell yeah, it is. More modes and that kind of stuff, and it definitely feels a lot better, um, especially the whole clutch thing I was telling you about. And uh, yeah, I might leave it there, but that's been another episode of 4x4 Camping and Adventures. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Share it out with everyone else. But uh, that is my install and review of the Hikit throttle controller. So uh, I might not see you in the next video. I might not see you out on the tracks and trails, but uh, I'll definitely see you later. Bye.